William Shakespeare's A Midsummer's Night Dream by Ariel, Lewis, Leo, Kendall, and Angie. Act 1 of the play begins with Theseus, Duke of Athens, and his fiancée Hippolyta discussing their wedding, which is in four days. Theseus decides that they will celebrate the upcoming nuptials with a celebration that will last until the wedding. He sends his master of revels to find suitable entertainment for the affair. Aegeus, a citizen of Athens, enters the room with his young daughter, Hermia, and two young men, Lysander and Demetrius. Aegeus complains to the duke that his daughter will not obey him and marry Demetrius, to whom he has promised her hand in marriage because she is in love with Lysander. The duke tells Hermia that she has until his wedding to make her decision. Either she obeys her father and marries Demetrius, she becomes a nun, or she will be put to death. Lysander and Hermia come up with a plan to run away together and get married. They confide their plan in Helena, Hermia's childhood friend, who is madly in love with Demetrius. Hermia tells Demetrius of the plan in hopes that he will chase after the eloping couple. She wants to chase after Demetrius and hopefully win his love. Far from Theseus's palace in another part of Athens, a group of workers is discussing a play they hope to perform in the wedding celebration. Quince, a carpenter, tries to take control of their arrangements but keeps getting interrupted by Nick Bottom, a loud, talkative man. The group decides on a play, and Quince assigns the parts, but Nick convinces him to change them around as he does not like his part. The characters agree to meet in the woods the next night to rehearse the play. At the beginning of Act 2, Oberon and Titania, the fairy king and queen, are at odds over a beautiful orphaned Indian boy. Oberon demands Titania turn the boy over to him so he can become his knight. When Titania refuses, Oberon vows revenge on her, and calls his servant Puck, a fairy known for his mischievous pranks on humans. He tells Puck to find him a purple and white flower called Love and Idleness that was once struck by Cupid's arrow. He tells Puck that when the juice from the flower is placed on the eyelids of someone who is sleeping, they will fall in love with the first person they see when they awake. As Puck goes off to find the flower, Oberon secretly watches Helena chase Demetrius through the woods as he is searching for Hermia and Lysander. Helena keeps declaring her love for Demetrius, but he keeps telling her to leave him alone. Oberon feels bad for Helena and vows that Demetrius will soon be the one chasing her. The fairy king tells Puck to sprinkle some of the juice on the young Athenian youth's eyelids so that he will fall in love with the woman chasing him. Oberon then leaves and puts the juice on Titania's eyes. On the other side of the forest, Lysander and Hermia are wandering deeper and deeper into the forest. Lysander admits to Hermia that he isn't really sure of the way to his aunt's house. He suggests that they find a place to rest for the night and try and find their way in the morning. Hermia makes Lysander sleep a little ways away from her out of respect. Puck comes up on the couple and, makes, and mistakes Lysander for Demetrius and sprinkles the juice on his eyelids. At the same time, Helena has lost Demetrius in the woods. She stumbles upon Lysander and wakes him up. <clears throat> Lysander immediately falls in love with Helena as she is the first person he sees when he wakes up. When he tries to tell Helena of his feel feelings, she thinks he is making fun of her and angrily leaves, with him following closely behind. In the morning, Hermia wakes up, finding Lysander has abandoned her. At the beginning of Act 3, the men in the play meet in the woods. As usual, the loud Nick Bottom takes over and makes changes to the play. As the men begin, re begin rehearsing the play, Puck watches. When Bottom takes a break and leaves the group, the mischievous fairy changes his head into that of an ass. When he returns to the group, all the men run away in fear. In the same area of the forest, Titania wakes up and falls deeply in love with Bottom, head of an ass and all, as he is the first person she sees when she wakes up. She appoints some fairies to tend to his every need. In another part of the forest, Oberon is happy his revenge against the fairy queen is going so well. They see Demetrius with Hermia and realize Puck made a mistake. Hermia is fearful Lysander is dead and Demetrius killed him. The Athenian woman grows angrier and angrier and storms away from Demetrius after he continues to give her half answers to her questions. Demetrius lies down and falls asleep. Oberon sends Puck to find Helena and fix the mistake. He squeezes some of the flower's juice on Demetrius' eyes. When he wakes up, he sees Helena and Lysander in close pursuit. Lysander is still telling Helena that he is in love with her, and she still believes he is making fun of her. Demetrius tells Helena he is in love with her, as she is the first one he saw when he woke up. The two men begin arguing and try and fight over Helena. Hermia comes back, having heard Lysander's voice. Lysander tells her he is no longer in love with her and he loves Helena. Hermia thinks that because she is short and Helena is tall, she somehow used her height to seduce Lysander.
Hermia tries to fight Helena, but Helena runs off, thinking Hermia is in on the joke with Lysander Demetrius. Puck later throws insults at Lysander Demetrius, which confuses them and separates them from each other in the woods. In Act 4, as the young lovers fall asleep, Titania and Bottom, still with the head of an ass, are lying down together. Puck and Oberon stumble upon them, and Oberon tells Titania that he will undo the spell he put on her if she gives the Indian boy over to him. Titania agrees, and when she wakes up, she dances off with Oberon, amazed she was ever in love with a man as ridiculous as Nick Bottom. Puck restores Bottom's head and follows after Oberon. In the morning, Theseus, Hippolyta, and Aegeus find Demetrius, Lysander, Helena, and Hermia asleep on the edge of the forest. None of the young Athenians can remember all what happened that night. All they know is Demetrius loves Helena and Lysander loves Hermia. Theseus orders them to come home with him for a great wedding celebration. In this palace, Theseus and Hippolyta discuss how they don't believe the four lovers' stories about the events that happened the night in the forest. The couple finds it strange that all four of them narrate the story the same. The craftsmen perform the play, making many mistakes, which turns the tragic play into a comedy that everybody laughs at. After everyone has gone to bed, Oberon and Titania enter the house and bless the marriages of Hippolyta and Theseus. When they leave, Puck enters the home and tells the audience if the play has offended anyone, they should simply remember it as a dream.